We love having executive chef Tony Mavuli, the owner of the inn at Villa Bianca, on our show. I recently got a one-on-one -on -one cooking lesson from him. Take a look. The Inn at Villa Bianca in Seymour has made a name for itself as Southern Connecticut's premier wedding venue. For more than 30 years now, the Inn has been hosting wedding couples, working to make their special day one that they will remember for the rest of their lives. Joining me now is executive chef and owner Tony Mavuli. It's always great to have you with us, Tony. Always nice to be here. And the, that was a beautiful picture of that wedding couple dancing there. Oh yes, the place is beautiful always. We stay on top, we stay with the last trend, the remodeling. Uh, you know, we make the place like it's the, the, the first wedding you were there. So is that why you think that it's so popular for wedding couples to get married well, there? Always popular. Always popular. Take a look at this it's picture, Tony. That is it. Uh, the assize ceremony we just, uh, we just did. Uh, that's, a, that's beautiful. Like venue. I said, this brand new, we just happened uh, this past spring. So, also, we do the English garden this past spring. We redo all the aside the, this winter. So, always we, st we stand it to the last. You have so many locations for the receptions, and we're looking at the pergola. Right now, is the pergola. The pergola is very, very popular uh, because you get two things both sides, in and out. If it's got a bad weather, you put the the swings down, yes. and uh, you are protected if it's any rain. And, but it's, rain, it's protected like How many you. people can you fit? In the pavilion, you can put about 450 people. And you've had big weddings like that, haven't oh, you? Oh, yes. It's very popular. It's almost a book for next year. So, why you're popular is very simple. We got a beautiful place, easy access, but one also the most important thing is the service and the cuisine. We pay attention to everything. It's nothing going out over there without me to see. I catch every piece of prime rib to you. I oversee everything. I cook everything. So yeah, he does. <laughs> so now, every, talking everything. about cuisine, what are we making today? You already started a little I bit here. I just started because of the time is very limited. Yeah. So we make rack lamb for Christmas season. And this is nice French rack lamb, which you. you you braise a little bit in the fry pan like this. And you can find this type of rack of lamb easily at the grocery store? Yes, yes. It should be no problem at all to find. And if you can't, should you just ask the butcher for it? Sure, they, they can do it. Normally it's coming already pre-made. Okay. So what I did here... So you, you I browned it a little? So I browned a little bit, I interface, so mm -hmm. you put them in the fry pan. You see these aluminum foils? Yes. It's nice if you cover them up this way, they don't get scorched when you put them in the oven. So this is beautiful dinner for four. You can have uh, some potatoes. What kind of potatoes? Any kind of potatoes? Any type of potatoes. Okay. You make roast potatoes. You dump them in, all fresh vegetables. It take about 20 minutes here in the oven, about 425, 450. 425 for 50 uh, minutes, right? Right. Okay. You're adding asparagus? Asparagus, or any type of vegetable you can put in. So, you take and you stick them in the oven. And you, do you have to watch it much? You just stick it you in there? You don't have to watch, you stick them in the oven, it's beautiful. You cover and it? And now we got another oven? one ready here. Okay. Oh, look at that. And look how beautiful. So you didn't do anything to the... The, the lamb, except for browning it, correct? <laughs> no, wrong. He, what did you uh, do? I rush salt? into that. I, yeah. bro I brush it with a... You brush it with? With a mustard, mm -hmm. salt and pepper, and fresh rosemary. Okay, so this is what you then, did before you Right, it. before okay. I put them in, and then I roll it with the breadcrumbs. Oh. They give a nice texture. Very good. So always, yeah, because of the time is limited sometimes. Now, with, we're with lamb, that. how should you cook it? Should you have it a little bit rare? How do you like it? L lamb should be medium rare. Medium rare. Medium rare. Medium rare. Right so now we take a piece. Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay. Definitely. And let's um, also Look start... Look how beautiful. Yes, and we also have some great events coming up this month. 
uh, have the Thanksgiving luncheon. Yes, the Thanksgiving Monday, luncheon, and they also you have a couple of combination parties for small companies. It called combination party. The, we supply DJ everything. Yeah, they come and enjoy themselves. Even we put a couple different companies together, 20 people, 30 people. But it's going to make a big party. It's very successful. I think is it December 9 and December 16. Very so good. anybody interested in? Yeah, very, you know, this type of Christmas party, 10, 15, 20 people call in advance because it's, it's very popular. And, and what about the Thanksgiving luncheon? Do you need to call for reservations for that? Thanksgiving lunch normally is organized by just senior cities. I okay. think it's like that, yes. You can't call direct to us. You have to call the organization. Okay, very good. Of course, all that information is on your website right. as well as our website. New Year's Eve, you've got a big oh, bash yes. coming up. New Year's Eve, we got it. The fun bags. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Funny do? name, but. Yeah, that is a funny <laughs> uh, name. They look like they are very, very popular. Fun bags. <laughs> <laughs> Very popular because as soon as we put this, the word out, a lot of people start to call you. We got a, quite a few reservations and now we're almost half full. So. Also something you do every month is this porchetta dinners. Yes. I first miss, I miss a the the lot of friends because I'm in the restaurant business all the time. But in fact, we will be open restaurant sometime in March. We call the tavern right next to the Villa Bianca. We're going to have a life a grand opening, hopefully. Looking and, forward uh, to that. And, and we do porchetta dinners, and the first month of the, uh, the month also we do get together dinner. So I invite brides, friends, everybody. So over. first Monday of the month is get together dinners right. for brides right. and their friends, and then you also have the porchetta dinners, which is the first Thursday of the month. Is that right? Right. Okay. And the uh, beautiful, we could porchetta or live all pig. But we don't let it lose. Okay. Take a look at this lamb. It is just perfection. Always, when you come in book wedding, you can ask it for me. I will take care of you. Uh, you guarantee you the food is very good all the time, 100%. That's right. And all you have to do is contact Tony at the Villa Bianca and see more. The phone number right there on the screen, 203-735-4883. And the website, of course, villabianca.com. Come in Thank and taste you. the food. And Thank you.